rolling easy back in the easy garage back at you all right so first off happy saint patrick's day hope you got your cold beverage and you're enjoying your day your sunday but let's uh wrap up since i'm off restriction what i bought this past weekend and we'll get into it now i was looking at my walmart receipt and I think I overpaid for something. My wife, well, we'll get into that. But let's let's see what uh let's see what I purchased. So I went to a couple stores. I went to All Ollie's, Kroger, and Walmart. So let's see what we got from these stores. Which one's this? This is Kroger. Alright, so. Kroger. What did I find? Now, you guys bear with me because I um, I haven't been in, in the stores a while. So, uh, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. You probably already have this stuff. BMW 507 in red. There she is. Um, this was cool. I've been waiting. I, I kept seeing videos on it. 94 Toyota Supra from the, is it blurry? From the Fast and Furious. Um, I don't know. I bought a couple of them. This I didn't find. Came out the first of the year, I believe. It was uh, last year's 2023. But I did not see it. I saw it on videos and I... Was not able to pick it up in the stores. The Trouble Decker. Trouble Decker, yeah. 2023. Is there another color of this? Did I miss it? Let me know in the comments. I thought it was pretty cool. I couldn't wait to find that car. There's going to be a couple duplicates. Uh, this I may have. Honda Civic Custom. There she is in white, your Honda Civic. And what else? Okay, this one's a 2023 Nissan Z in red. I know I have the blue one. That's pretty cool. Black top in your red. Oh, can't wait to get in this. Um, there's another one. Bought two of those. And a Corvette Gasser in red. The Corvette Gasser. Can't, can't pass up the Gassers. This I thought was pretty neat. I love drag cars. Mustang NHR funny car. There it is in purple. So if you guys haven't seen it. I've been... Buying more what I like now. There, there are some fantasies. But Mattel is killing us. with. There's so much out there. There's so much. Uh, 80, it's an 89 Mercedes. This one's in black. I think it came in red. Or no, silver. I think it was in silver. That car there, 2023 new for that car i think is badass it is badass now it was good and nice and gray but uh once they start adding the um stupid tampos and stuff that they do um they're gonna screw it up volkswagen id bus i've seen that on other channels couldn't wait to grab it I've seen it. So I'm just catching up. I'm catching up with you guys. You guys let me know. Here's another one of these Toyotas. Like I said, I bought multiples of what I like. I'll dig in here real quick. There's another one and another one. So we'll get those out of the way. Bought a few of them. Thought they were pretty neat. Uh... Your 83 Chevy. 
that's kind of cool um a few of these in different colors and i think i'll be done with that model the same with all these little uh what do they call them tuned little tuned cars yeah we'll we'll be done with those i think i'm i'm done the porsche now this thing's this thing's badass a badass Porsche right there. Look at that. Turbo 5 Tycan. Tycan? Is that what you call it? Porsche Tycan? That thing is badass. Pretty cool color for that Porsche. Doesn't look like a street car. But the green I like. And uh, also I love the gasser. So here's your Volvo gasser. Yes, sir. All right. And then also, I picked up this, which will bring me to my Walmart bag. Eventually, we'll get into that. But the prices of these things are going up. This is number 61. The Porsche. Uh, your team transport. Now, these cars, the, the prices of all this stuff is going like so crazy uh this was 17 90 something and it was marked down they had a little sticker for 14 something but even with tax it was over 15 dollars for this 15 dollars and what what else i bought there i don't have the receipt but these cars are not even a dollar anymore. They're over at Walmart. They are $1.18 a piece for basic cars. This is um, this is price of me, <clears throat> like right out of the market for new for new items. I I collect vintage, so I spend a lot of my money on vintage cars and stuff like that but um at these prices you know i i enjoy going to the store and finding stuff but at these prices i might just uh hold off my money and keep filling in blanks on the vintage cars that i collect because this is it's getting outrageous i mean is this worth like 17 dollars Really? You guys let me know in the comments. I was I was gonna try I've been keeping up with the numbers. This is number sixty one and I a uh, couple video two videos back I believe I found number fifty seven and I've been trying to keep up. There's a few missing and I was you know I'm I'm willing to pay the twenty five thirty dollars to a, a reseller. If I can keep up with the numbers, but at this price, you know, seventeen, eighteen dollars in the store, and there's they come out in threes. So fifteen, thirty, forty, forty-five dollars. Am I right to walk out of the store with three diecast cars? Is that right? Fifteen, fifteen. At fifteen dollars a piece, it's thirty, forty, forty-five. V, yeah, for three diecast cars, fifty dollars. You, can, I've seen furniture that sells for, um, you know, you can buy a table for fifty bucks. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on. Let's go to the next store I went to. That was Kroger. Then we stopped at Ollie's, Ollie's, which was pretty cool. Not bad. They had some discount stuff. If you haven't been to Ollie's, um, look around, see if you have one. These were about $4 a piece. Uh, they were $3.99 on sale. Here's your 1962 Chevy Bel Air. And at the price of these, 
well they're they're nicer than hot wheels they're all metal rubber tires so i bought a couple this one here I, you know most of them i bought duplicates but i didn't see this one until i got home i removed the stickers real quick but uh this one here has all the creases in it so that'll become a loose a loosey goosey what else I got? Here's two of these. Like I said, I bought two of two of them all. Pretty neat. This one, um, Chevy Monte Carlo. Really cool. Cool casting. I love that casting. They have one in black also, so I bought two of those. I'll show you. But these are really cool. Okay cars. If you remember that, Chevrolet, okay. Everything's okay. Um, let's do the black ones. We'll wrap that up. There you go. There's your black Monte Carlo. Really cool. And up next, what do we have? I only bought one of these. One of the Chevrolet or nothing. Ford Galaxy. Throw this in the collection. Thought that was really cool. Your Ford Galaxy. Is it a Ford? Thought Chevrolet was only okay. Maybe it's okay service. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. What was okay? Is it okay quality checkout? Um can't remember. I thought it was only Chevrolet. But here's two. Um Two more Bel Airs, same year, 62, 62, yeah, same year, but this one's in blue, really cool, right there, so I think, yeah, I guess these are all the same, but just uh, different colors, right there, and what's next? The last one in this bunch from Ollie's was the 70 Mercury Cougar in blue. Grab myself two of those. And also at Ollie's, I found these. The Rickshaw. Rickshaw. Rick. How do you pronounce it? I can say it all the time until I'm on camera. Rickshire. That's how you pronounce it. Rickshire. Uh, this is George Barris. I love these motorcycle model kits. This one's in a bigger box. You know, sometimes they come half boxes like I got from... Um, you can look back on the videos. I got some of the smaller ones. I think they came at Walmart. But uh, all the motorcycle model kits i love those grabbed um love it so much i grabbed two of them of course i grabbed two of them why not and another model kit who could not forget the speed racer mach 5 uh had to grab that i love when always has all these model kits um that's kind of what sparked me when i seen always having model kits cheaper than um hobby lobby they're what 13 dollars i started grabbing them start collecting them then i got into the vintage models now i'm i need another room for vintage model kits but uh let's get into the well We'll do one more bag. I did stop at Dollar Tree. This is really cool. Dollar Tree. Now, I've seen this on a couple different videos. The one I know the most is, um, what's his name? And he's like me. Am I still on? Hopefully. Okay. Um, 
I seen his, uh, the phone went to a low power. Let's wrap this up real quick. Oh, uh, let me plug you in. Yeah, it's still counting down. So let me, all right, let's wrap it up real quick. We can get done with this video. I'm sure we can. Oh, who was that guy? Hotline of Diecast. Walter. He had these little race cases, and he was getting them at Dollar Tree. So I started checking my Dollar Trees. Could not find none. Pretty neat. They're little race cases. They hold six cars. And when I went there, they're pretty cool. The Where you hang it on the wall, it's a little upside down to the picture. Because if you hung it this way, then you could hang them all and hold your cars. I don't know why it's all upside down, but not bad. You know, they're like a dollar twenty-five, a dollar tree. And when I was in there, I noticed they're different. They have different uh, pictures on them. If you didn't know that, don't know how many there are. I think that I think I got three different ones. So there's one, two. Those are the same. I bought a couple of them. That one's different. So there's three. And let's see what the other three are. I think they're all the same. That's the same. That's the same. The duplicate. All right. So there's three different photos on the front of these little cases. They're pretty cool little cases. For what they are, dollar twenty-five holds six cars. If you had kids, that'd be perfect for them. Let's get into the Walmart. Walmart bags. Let's see what we got. So we got a. Okay, so I got. I finished off these. Your hot wagons. Here's a here's a basic car. We'll show that the Barbie. Missed it, so now I got it. And two of these. Let's see what what are these two. All right, so they're duplicates, the AAR CUDA from your Fast and Furious. And that car on the receipt was um, $6.47. So I got two of those, but it shows three. Let's see if I got another premium. I don't remember buying another premium. I'm going to have to go through this whole receipt. I bought these new four 2024s, a couple fantasy. Remember, I'm a Hot Wheels collector, so I'm going to buy fantasy cars. <clears throat> I don't just go after treasure hunts and all that stuff. I, I collect. I collect. Just I hope you guys do, too. Here's a Ford F-150. I thought that was kind of neat. It was the only one there. So I grabbed it. Um, there's another hot wagon there. A Porsche. They say it's a Porsche year. Uh, I like it, but I don't love it. This we've had. A little square body. And that's a hot wagon. And here's another Barbie. Barbie car up top and a 73 Honda Civic. Didn't see the Civic before in orange. And another 2024 new model. Which I, I grab them when they're new models. After that, they change the colors. And even that is horrible. So... I keep going. So yeah, looking at the receipt, the employee, my wife doesn't like to go to self-checkout, so the employee rung this one, and I only got two. She rang it up three times, and she rang up, okay, so she only rang up one, two, 
three of these. So uh, not only did I overpay for um, Hot Wheels because the prices are so high, they also, um, I basically paid three or four dollars more than what I should have had. But uh, here's your Hot Wagons. So I had the um, the Nissan, what is it, the, well, the harder one. I already had that. I found that twice, but I wanted to complete the series, so I bought all four of these to complete the series. I love these. They're metal, all metal bases. This one is plastic. That's a plastic base and a horrible car. Why is it in the series? We don't even know. But these these are all look to be metal. Is that white one metal? Yeah. So these these aren't a bad buy at three dollars or something. Anyway, just ranting on my receipt from Walmart. I got overcharged. The whole bill from Walmart, if you kept track with the cars that I got from there was forty one sixty seven. That's insane. Forty one dollars let's say forty two dollars for some new new cars. I mean it, it's kinda cool. This is kinda kinda cool. It's not worth um six dollars but $41, I can buy a redline car. So I think I'm going to start focusing and get back to um, looking at some vintage stuff. I'd rather spend $40 on any other site, even eBay, with the shipping to buy something vintage that's going to be tangible and worth some money. But this new stuff... Um, it's blowing my mind. Mattel, the stores. I don't know where it's going. But anyway, that's just me ranting on a St. Patrick's Day. So I want to thank you guys for watching, subscribing. Don't forget to stay easy and keep on turning Hot Wheels. Chewy said, get your drink on.